this is Dr. Pooja Rai, founder of Transactive India. Welcome back to the channel. Today, let me show you five simple exercises for people having back problems who are working from home. As we all know, as there is a pandemic situation in the world, work from home has become inevitable. Most residential settings do not have an office ergonomic furniture or do not have a space to accommodate them. It is likely that you are sitting on a bean bag or a normal table or can be a kitchen countertop or at last it can be a bed. Wherever you are sitting, definitely you are not sitting in the right spine healthy posture. Moreover, long hours of sitting in a bad posture leads to overloading spine which in turn is a road to musculoskeletal injury such as lower back pains, acquired kyphosis and scoliosis, sore neck, deep vein thrombosis, carpal tunnel syndrome and many more. Researchers say our spine starts loading at every 20 minutes. To avoid this overloading of the spine, you can quickly take 30 minutes posture break while working. Further, these weak muscles and spine can be kept stronger with few simple exercises which you can do in the comfort of your home. Let me quickly show you these exercises. These five simple exercises will instantly relieve your back pain and stiffness. You can either choose a mat or a bed to do these exercises. Start by lying down and bend your knees. Place a ball or a towel roll between your knees. Squeeze the ball to keep your legs active. Now inhale to roll your pelvis forward and exhale to roll backwards to make an arch in your lower back and then flatten the arch. Hold your arms up as shown. Inhale to roll forward. Exhale to roll back and pull your stomach in. Inhale, roll forward. Exhale to roll back. Perform this exercise for 20 repetitions. Most of you know this exercise but probably doing it wrong. Let me show you the right way of doing it. Start with lying down on your back, knees bent and place a ball or a towel roll between your knees. Arms are placed wide apart. Inhale to arch your back and create a nice curve there. Exhale to roll your pelvis backwards and squeeze your hips to lift the pelvis up. Inhale to expand your chest. Exhale, slowly drop your chest first. Sequence your vertebra one by one to bring them down and finally drop your hips coming back to the starting position. Inhale to arch, exhale to squeeze your hips and lift your pelvis up. Inhale, expand your chest. On exhale, drop your chest, sequencing your back and lower your hips to the starting position. Repeat this exercise for 20 repetitions. a very important exercise for core strength and core activation. Start with lying down on your back, arms close to your body and knees bent. Keep one ball close to you. Lift one leg to a tabletop position, hold it strong and then lift the other leg to the same position. Now place the ball between your knees and keep squeezing it. Make sure you maintain your hip and knees at 90 degrees each. Do not arch your back, keep pushing it down. Inhale to expand your chest and exhale to push the back into the floor without moving your legs. Also squeeze your stomach in on exhale.
Hold this position until you complete 5 breaths and then lower your legs. For a closer experience, observe carefully. Do not move your legs and try to concentrate on the lower back positioning. Perform this exercise for 10 repetitions each, holding for 5 breaths each. For people having stiff upper back, this might be a little difficult exercise to perform. Let's start with sitting on your knees. Bend forward to place your arms forward and straight. Bend your head down. Now inhale to turn your thumbs up. Maintaining the position of your lower back, exhale to lift your arms up. Inhale to lower the arms and exhale to lift it up. Do not stress your neck. Keep your breathing slow and steady. You can perform this exercise 10 to 20 repetitions. Sit back and breathe comfortably. To perform this exercise, sit comfortably on a stable chair. Place a ball between your knees. To keep your hips and knees in the same line, you can place a small pad or a stepper under your feet. Lock your arms up in front of your chest. Start with inhale to roll your pelvis forward and exhale to roll it backwards. Keep squeezing the ball between your knees. Inhale to roll forward, exhale to roll back. Inhale forward, exhale to pull your stomach in and roll back. Perform this exercise for 20 repetitions. Let's roll our pelvis in standing position. Once you are perfectly rolling your pelvis in lying down and sitting positions, let's now try it in standing. Keep your feet mildly wide in the line of your hips. Hold your arms forward to lock them in front of your chest. Start with inhale to roll your pelvis forward. On exhale, squeeze your hips and stomach together to get a backward roll. Remember not to move your knees or neck in this exercise. Inhale to roll forward, exhale to roll back. Inhale forward, exhale roll back and pull your stomach. Perform this exercise for 20 repetitions. After achieving standing pelvic tilts, let's now try squatting position to ease your back. Keep your feet apart wider than your shoulders. Face your feet outwards. Place your arms at your hips. Now, mildly squat or bend your knees as shown. Start with inhale, roll your pelvis and exhale to roll it back and squeeze your hips and stomach together. Inhale to roll forward, exhale to roll it back. Inhale, roll forward, exhale, stomach in to roll it back. For a better view, watch it sideways. Inhale to roll forward, exhale to roll back. Inhale, roll forward, exhale to roll back. Try to get maximum roll in your pelvis. Perform this exercise for 20 repetitions. Hope the instructions were clear. You can follow these exercises once in the morning, once in the evening, 20 repetitions each. For a comfortable work from home experience, you must keep your posture aligned and spinal muscles strong. For more such videos, subscribe to our channel Stance Active. 
questions are appreciated in the comments below thank you